So hey 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 guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, export, not really export, how to get your timeline from Adobe Premiere Pro into DaVinci Resolve to color grade it and then take it all back to Premiere Pro to edit it. I was taken by the moon Looking down on everything I never knew the truth and only for a moment I'm alive with you if you never come around how we ever gonna be if you're always on the ground then you're never gonna see what falling feels like DaVinci Resolve is a much better color grading um, software than any other software there is. DaVinci Resolve used on big productions, they used it in Hollywood with big productions, they used for uh, a lot, I know that it used for a lot of movies on Netflix. DaVinci Resolve, if you don't know DaVinci Resolve, you can download a free trailer. I, if I think it, if I uh, think about it, I will link it down below. It's free. You can also buy it for two, three hundred bucks for the original, but all the same software is also in the free, only it's a little bit slower and you got a, not really the best uh, performance out of it. And when you buy it, you got the best performance and you got a little bit more uh, effects to work with. Uh, you should know it. Let's start with the video that I got here. These are the videos that I got. A couple of different shots, old shots. This is a very old shot. This is a newer shot. This one is shot on uh, the Zion Crane 2. This is an older shot. This is also an older shot. These two are the same. This is, an old, this is the oldest shot I see. And a newer shot with the drone. And two older shots with the drone. First, when you have effects on it, like this one, uh, I've muted, let's see if we can go. It's a little bit slow, I slow it down, so you saw that? That's a transition. Those transitions won't work, so you need to delete those. And everything you, you, you do with uh, framing, like this is a 4K clip, it's a 100% when you go to 50, that's the full, let's reset it. So that's the full frame. So just leave it on 100 and you can bring it back later to the original frame that you want. Also with these, these are also 4Ks. Let's reset all, 10. Let's reset all of them, I don't know. So you only need these clips. So select the clips, go to a new composition of a, a new sequence, paste them there. Why? Then you only need to export this. You don't need the sound, you don't need uh, my logo, you don't need, need, need the cinema bars, only the clips. Select the clips, go to file, export. You can export it as an AAF or a Final Cut XML. XML goes faster, so XML. Choose your select point where you want it where you want to export it to, tutorial XML, made it, 
310. All right, that was it. Export it. Let's go to DaVinci Resolve. All right, this one, this one pops up. You cr create a new project, name it uh, tutorial, I don't know, tutorial XML2 because I have already one that went completely wrong, so I need to do it again. The window pops up. All right, this is DaVinci Resolve 15. Download link to the free one is down below. This is also the free one, so not really needed to buy the original. And then file timeline, import AAF, EDL or XML. Go to the settings where you have export it. DaVinci XML tutorial. There it is. Open it. Let's look. Is everything all right? 23976, 920 by 1080. All right, and you see exactly how I have it in Premiere Pro. So is it also in here. We don't have sound in it because we don't export it. Let me make it a little bit smaller. So when we go through it, you got, ex you got all the same, exactly the same copies. Check them all, good, good. These were the four Ks. Let's see if they normal. Oh my, perfect. They are just normal 4K in it, so that's color. That's good rate. Okay, then you underneath by Adobe, you got them up above. With DaVinci, you got them underneath. So you start with media, you go to editing. Fusing is Fuse is the After Effects in DaVinci Resolve. So then you get a color tab. Fairlight is for music, sound, and deliver to deliver your projects the color tab you get so much more choice with this color grading than with the color grading in adobe this you can see one two three even only the bars you get a lot of things to do with to play with the colors hue saturation saturation to saturation hue fuses loom hue versus saturation color picker masker tracker Lot, lot. What's the gear? Oh, gear output. How much you want it? Let's uh, reset that. I don't know what this is. Didn't saw it. And even 3D, but it won't work. I don't have a 3D. Let's go back to the first one. The color wheels. Let's select the third one. Log. Because you got shadows, midtones, and highlights. The second is lift, gamma, and gain. And also the other one, lift, gamma, and gain only them from the color wheels. I like the bars more. You can you can fine tune it more with the bars. All right, you are in the color creating tab. What you're gonna do is make a note every time you do something. Do it on a different note. You can name the notes. It's much easier. So Alt S, create a note. And if you're going to do that, make it all red. You can set it out. You can see only what you do with that one or select it like that and then shift d shift d shift d let's put it back on let's delete that one let's make a new one alt uh, alt s on apple i don't really know command s i believe yeah so i'm going to create it a little bit faster with a uh, little let's go for really teal and orange that one pops in or did I select it or? Now you can see it was off. <laughs> without LUT, with LUT, without LUT, with LUT. It looks a lot orange. So Shift D is to cancel everything. Everything is out. Doesn't matter how much notes you have, everything will be shut down. And Shift D, it will all come back on. So let's go to the second one. Alt S, LUTs, 3D LUTs. That lots, that lots. You can also pick them from this side. Yeah, depends how you how you want it. Uh, let's see, uh, nitro. Oh, here it is. So looks a little bit dark. Don't worry. I will make them lighter later. They are even <laughs> mid tones in the highlights. That's not good. Uh, what was the first one? It was looks okay. It's just a fast, fast something or. 
This one is way too dark. Let's go to the first one. That one. Set it to 015400. 0.300. Yeah, that looks nice. And this one. 0.400. 0.400. Yeah, it looks better. 0.500. This one. 0.750. Yep. It looks okay. This one is just at the mid tones. Let's don't do that. That doesn't look anything nice. 0.600. 0.500. You get a little bit, but I don't really care. And the last one should be all teal, because I don't really get orange in it. The bird itself on top of the church. <laughs> so everything is color graded. You go to, uh, you can't go through fire lane, but I don't have audio, I don't need audio. This deliver tab, you see everything you got, the timeline you got, all right. You want to render it? Sometimes you call it rendering, exporting, it's the same thing. So Premiere XML, an easy preset. Let's go down to, you can use QuickTime uncompressed, RGB 10 bit. My computer has, has, my computer has a very hard time to uh, play that back, so I don't do that. I go into MP4, H264. It's a little bit easier, the best of course. Audio, not needed. Files used, now you can make it lower, but let's make it to two. I don't need the digits. I got a lot of <laughs> storage and add to render queue. Let's pick a place to render it to. Let's go to the same XML tutorial. Yes, yes. All right, it pops up and then start rendering. It's immediately start rendering. Take some time. So take some time and then I will be back when it's done. Okay, and after it's done, you can see complete in seven minutes and 18 seconds. It's a lot because my laptop wasn't on power. Now it is on power and it is a lot faster now. All right, save it. You can also delete it if you want it, but if I fucked up something, I can go back and uh, go there, go further from there. Open up Premiere again. All right, this is not needed when it is okay. Uh, all right, make a bin XML. All right, open it, open it, import. Uh, that one, XML, only the longer XML, the this one with a, with a lot of numbers and all the clips are also here that has been rendered so select only that one open it take some time to load it in and then you will see it also loads in every clip that's in it it doesn't react it will go further with a couple of seconds it does that every time to me every time it gives me a heart attack and now i know it doesn't matter it has to work a little bit too hard i think there it is every clip we got in there color graded as well then look for all <laughs> let's look for the sequence dji dji oh yeah ref this one that's the clip take it down there is is color graded as well now you can change everything that you want so you want how you want to like it so it's now on full let's bring it back to 50 you see it doesn't work so it just now rendered it in full so i don't know why it works but hey hey hey! this is dennis from the future hi again uh, i told you when you crop when you crop in and you export it to davinci resolve you can't really get the same look that you have without compress so when you export it in an H.264 it doesn't keep the changes it does do anything but when you export it in an uncompressed uh, QuickTime it keeps its uh, 
the changes when you make it. When you make it uh, from 100 to 50 size or when you go from 1080 to 860, I don't know. It that in the uncompressed file it keeps the sizes and changes. And the H264 it doesn't. So that's why you need to change it again. That's the only problem that I found out. And for the rest, when you want when you have everything done, you want it back in your normal timeline, select everything, copy it and paste it and drag it over the old clips that are not color graded, let it go and you get your new color graded on the old place where the non color graded is. So that's it. Let's go back to you now. Then it's off this time. You can zoom it into 200 and you get the same exact sharpness because it's a 4K clip. It's the sharpness is in the clip. Now you can change everything how you want to like it. Put your effects back on and that's how you have it. All color graded as well. This is fast, not it doesn't look good, I know. It's all color graded fast. So I hope you learned something from this. If you want to know more about DaVinci Resolve or something, let me know down below. But um, I leave it here. Hope you like it. Smash the subscribe button, haven't you already? And then I hope to see you in another video. Ah, <sighs> that feels good. See you there. Aloha. I was taken by the moon Looking down on everything I never knew I'm awakened by the truth And only for a moment I'm alive with you If you never come around, how we ever gonna be? If you're always on the ground, then you're never gonna see what falling feels like. If you never come around, how we ever gonna be? If you're always on the ground, then you're never gonna see what falling feels like. Falling feels. Stars orbiting the universe to where you are.